Hey, what's up everybody? This is BSL, but Spinning Lizard back once again. Welcome to the next part of Let's Play Fairy Fencer F. Blind. So much off-camera stuff. Look at my levels. That's still grinding is unnecessary, but I'm st it doesn't st seem to stop me from doing it. Now let's go on to the end. This is re one reason I really want to record right now, so I can continue viewing these events and continue progressing the story and continue doing more stuff and stuff and stuff. Huh? Is that an enemy? Striking in the dark, huh? What a cheap tactic. Time to deliver some payback. He's dreaming. Does the parentheses. He's clearly dreaming. Huh? Wait, huh? Ethel? What are you doing up this lit? Oh, my quappers. Oh, my quappers. Hey, why are you getting in my bed? Hmm. Whoa! Hey, hey! Don't cling to me! If you press against me, the, the salt sensation is... Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, is she pull, putting the moves on me? No, stay calm, Fang. Assess the situation. She came here in the middle of the night, crawled into my bed, and started clinging to me like she wanted to cuddle. I'm trying to stay calm about this, but... By the way, what's up with Fang's shirt? Is that Pippin on his shirt? Hmm? sleeping. What the heck? Is she half asleep? <laughs> you should only surprise me. Psst. Wake up. It's gonna look really bad for me if you fall asleep here. Mm. Sleepy. Damn it! Don't sleepy me! <sighs> now I'm getting sleepy. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. I just have to remember to kick you out first thing in the morning. Well, that was... Very interesting scene. And he's probably going to forget. But that was very interesting. And <laughs> I saw that going. What are you doing? Huh? Is it morning already? No, thank you, monster. Huh? Ah, Ethel. Oh, yeah. About last night. Last night? What happened last night? If you wish to defend yourself, now is your chance. Ethel, get away from him. Okay. <laughs> Aw, you poor baby. You must have been so scared. Wait, you guys. This is just one big misunderstanding. I haven't done anything inappropriate. Your clothes are in shambles, and you two are sleeping in the same bed. How can you call that a misunderstanding? No, her clothes are just messed up because she kept moving around while she was sleeping. Ah, there you are, Ethel. It seems she mistook this for her room while she was half asleep. I'm sorry if she caused any trouble. How about you do something about this trouble I'm in right freaking now? <laughs> are you ready? Ready? Wait, hold on. Like I said, I... Uh oh. No excuses. But you told me to defend myself. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but it just happened. Now that you have the visual box, the picture gallery is. Wait, all this was just for me freaking unlocking the freaking gallery? <laughs> I think I did that off camera. So I can't remember if I did it on or off camera, but I did unlock the visual box by synthesizing a couple video output circuits and I think a couple ultra. Output circuit thingies, things, things. But now I have the picture gallery. I don't have any key visuals. Apparently I now have the gallery unlocked. So let's view these pictures that we've seen from the past. Why don't I remember this one? I do remember this one. What? Let's say, is there any X for bouncy? Yep. <laughs> Mariana. It's Ethel and Karen. Apollonius, Pippin and Soji, and his sword shines. It's Tiara's death, and the screen's turning red. Disturbing. Onwards. This is the Fair Eyes Mark II. Tiara and Aaron, and that scene we just saw. So I've unlocked the gallery. Riverbank. What's going on in the riverbank? Anything worth the quappers to me? As we collect the furies, I have noticed that the same rumor keeps cropping up. 
Rumor? The one about how you wish your wish will be granted once you obtain a theory, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Thanks to that rumor, I was blinded by greed and pulled out this fury. I will only agree to be offended afterward because you nagged me. Don't say that. You're making me sound like a pest. Whether or not Aaron is really a pest, <laughs> is that rumor really true? Does your wish come true once you obtain a fury? Hmm, I'm not sure. Also, don't call me a pest. If that rumor was true, there'd be no reason to revive the goddess in the first place. Isn't the fairy supposed to know this sort of thing? It, it's not my fault that humans made up a silly rumor without us fairies knowing. Then it's a made-up story? I can't really say that either. What the heck? You don't sound very confident. Uh, oh, hi Harley. You guys seem like you're having an interesting discussion. Yo, Harley. <laughs> if I can speak freely, I think that rumor about your wish is being granted once you have a fury is both true and false. What does that mean? Even one fury contains immense power, so it might be possible for it to grant a wish. Wish. However, the scope of the wish must be taken into consideration. For example, a wish to cure a disease could be granted, but it wouldn't bring the dead back to life. A wish to take first place in a martial arts tournament might come true, but a wish to rule the world won't. That's pretty much it. Sounds like some Shenron Quabbers here. I see. I understand now. You know, after hearing up, after hearing that, I've come up with a brilliant idea. I'm so smart I could s that I scare myself sometimes. Oh crap! I can only imagine how stupid this is gonna sound. It's impossible to use the fury to become billionaires, but we could use it to earn loads of money at a casino. I'm gonna go find a casino right now. Ah, fang. I knew you were gonna say something stupid. Someone stop this idiot! Okay, so that was a thing. Oh, before I head to Zapala Valley, let me show you a few things. First, actually, first of all, let me see if she got me new worth of quappers in the shop. Not really. But also, take note of this. Only have, I've done pretty much mo a majority of the quests. The only quest I have right now require me to go to this dungeon that I'm about to head to now. Including the fring the one that increased my S rank. Just throwing that out there. By the way, what do you have to say, Guillermo? You're going to Zapala Valley, right? I hear it's a floating island just like Bui Valley. Apparently it's really dark because the sun's light doesn't reach it. Please watch your step. I really want to go to Spell of Valley, Valley Valley right now so I can continue. I already stuck a Fury in there. Let me stick my damage next to fair, fair Fury in there. That's all I'm gonna do. I'll take uh, I'll take Snow out. Now let's enter. Let's see what this place is all about. I do have a few quests, but I'll probably do them off camera as I've been doing. Just requires me to fight the enemies here. That storage facility better be here. It is! It's located in the depths of this valley. Every record of Dorfa's unethical business practices has been stored there in pristine condition for generations. If that information leaked to the public, Dorfa's stock would plummet, and they'll be forced to file for bankruptcy. I don't know about you guys, but I still don't trust him. I agree. Men like him have no qualms about telling self-serving lies. <laughs> Looks like you're not very trustworthy, Paiga. Shut up! You're one to- Even if he's lying, it's fine. If there's a trap waiting for us, we'll just beat the crap out of Paiga. <laughs> Agreed. I follow the warrior's path. If a trap awaits us, I'll face it head on and crush it. We're so close to performing the ritual to revive the goddess. There's no way I'd let Dorfa stop us now. Hey. Let's go! And here we are, Pala Valley. There's supposed to be some sharks in here, apparently some creatures. I will like fight. Apparently I can destroy these guys. 
Not that I'm really all that surprised. But I'll mainly be fighting you guys because I do have quests involving fighting most of these enemies, including the the other ones. Oh no, they're gonna breathe on me again. 11,000 damage? Well, damn. Alright, let's keep going. I will start, I still will, I will start fast killing enemies that I've already fought now. Like you. I said like you. Quick kill, quick kill, not so quick kill because, you know, Galdo. Hidden item somewhere nearby along with this guy here. Galestone. You know, I could have used those a whole lot earlier while I was doing those quests. Just saying. Dang, I saw. I kind of have no reason to continue with it. And dead. <laughs> As usual. A. The safe spot? Is there a safe spot up here? Where's. Okay, the venture up ahead. I see it. I gotcha. Let's -a go. Now let's see if Pike is full of quappers. Or. Let's see. Deepest part of Zapelia Valley right now? Well, where's this secret storage facility you've been yammering about, eh? <laughs> it never existed. And now, this place will become your grave. Oh, God, I'm gonna fuck you up. Whoa. What's that sound? A landslide. There really was a trap awaiting us. I knew he was lying. <laughs> That's right. I've been leading you into a trap this whole time. One press of this button was all it took. This place is going to collapse any minute, and soon you'll all be crushed to death. Hey, they don't look too surprised about this. Well, it was really obvious. Hey, if you stand so close to us, won't you get crushed too? Huh, fools. Lord Sherman has promised to teleport me to safety using uh, a return. I've got a lot of return wings too, dude. Who would do that? <laughs> yeah, he'd totally send the useless beyond to their death and not think twice about it. He has no regard for those weaker than him, much like how I used to be. He definitely wouldn't lose any sleep over sacrificing one of his <laughs> minions. Ah, uh, you guys totally nailed it. Pika is definitely expendable. <laughs> uh, Please excuse me. Beep. <laughs> Nobody make a move, or I'll press this button again. <laughs> you, are... no, you guys just stay where you are while I move to a safe position. You are such a fucking. <sighs> I don't think so, Joey. <laughs> Whoa! What the? Oh no! The button. When did that creature get behind me? While you were monologuing, I had my fairy sneak behind your back. Your luck ends here. Nice one, Tiara. Oops, I should have known something like this would happen. D damn it! So why don't you do you something, me? Vivian? I could say the same for you. Looks like the trickster got tricked this time. Leading us into a trap isn't even original. I mean, Mariana already tried that, so it's not like we weren't expecting this. 
That's why I didn't really care one way or another if this turned out to be a trap. Damn you! I'll just have to defeat you with my true power! Are we actually Vivian, gonna fight Pyga? Go. Oh, brother. I guess I have no choice. Are we actually gonna fight? Oh, Show wow. You, got. you actually have a pretty awesome looking figure here, Mr. Pyga. I hope you excuse me while I destroy you. For the sake of Dorfa. No, for the sake of my family, I can't lose! You're about to get your butt handed to you. Let's do this! Let's do this! And... Dud. <laughs> get down. I'm sorry. What a waste of time. Only 15,000. I got more experience from that in that one floor and the... Uh, now then, looks like we're done here. That seems to be the case. Please spare my life. I have a smoking <laughs> hot wife and an adorable little girl. That's right. Killing him isn't worth the trouble at all. Fine, whatever. I'll spare your life. Just hurry up and get the hell out of here. Don't ever show your face around us again. Agreed. For your sake, I hope our path. And then Sherman's gonna appear again. and kill Pyga himself, right? You might as well quit, Dorfa. Then you won't be forced to do suicide missions like this. That may be true. But I still need a job so I can provide for my lovely wife and cute little girl. Well, you're just gonna have to find a new job somewhere else. After all, I'm gonna bring down Dorfa for good. Ah, uh, understood. I'll quit Dorfa and never bother you again. I'll move somewhere far away and live a happy life with Income my wife Sherman? and daughter. Come on. Why am I expecting this to happen? Why do I want it to happen? Hey! Don't leave me here! Jeez. All he did was waste our time. What a drag. Look, it's... Sherman. There he is. The time has come. Let's settle this once and all. And sudden as hell, by the way. I know exactly how you feel. Ever since I met you, I knew I'd end up fighting you one day. Likewise. Fate is such an unpleasant thing. Once I've severed these chains of destiny, I will finally be free. Do it, Fang! I'll help you out too, eh? This man is the heart of Dorfa. Strike him down and their plans will fall to ruin. Back off. I want to what? fight him one-on-one. -on -one. Which I know what is happening. Yeah. Fang! 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 Why did you hold back? I... I didn't! Yes, you did. Your sword contained no malice. Why is that? Were you trying to show me mercy? How humiliating for both of us! I lost. Stop complaining and just kill me already. Are you trying to shame me? If I cut you down now, it would do little more than sully my reputation. I'll withdraw for now. Your defeat must be nothing short of glorious. Until that day comes. And off he goes. <laughs> okay, so that just that just happened. When Sherman was our ally, his honorable side was an asset. But now that he's our enemy, it's really messing things up. <laughs> you are pathetic. Didn't you say you would protect me? How is showing mercy to your enemy supposed to accomplish that? It's delusional to think you can revive the goddess by acting so childish. You don't have to be so harsh, Tiara. Silence. Well, no damn. one is talking to you. <laughs> How much longer are you going to stay depressed? Are you nothing more than a sniveling eunuch? Shut up! I can put up with your bitching, but now you've gone too far! Next time I fight Sherman, I'll take it more seriously and wipe the floor with him! Even reviving the goddess will be super easy! Easier than raising tadpoles into full-grown frogs! I hate frogs. You can't really compare frogs to a goddess. Well, the details don't really matter. More importantly, I'm confident that Dorfa will continue their merciless assault against us. 
we can assume that they'll resort to far more craven tactics than they've been using. Our fight is poised to become more perilous than before. We must prepare accordingly. Yeah, I know. Let's just hurry up and finish this crap already. Once that's done, I'm gonna be the one who changes your fate, Tiara. That sounds like the thing I know. It was worth sounding so unladylike <laughs> okay. to cheer you up. Alright, let's go revive the goddess. Our path is clear. Alright, let's do this! Aaron, we need to go to the goddess's sanctuary first. Yeah, let's make way for the heart of the Kavari Desert. This again? And what are you going to give me another fury? Oh, hi, Lola. Give me your expensive information. Imperial Gold Dragon. I'm looking for... Not fucking clappers. It would be here. I don't feel like going through five floors without clappers. Uh, whatever. Let's see. Stick a fury in here. Luckily, this is only one section. So I'm just... It's gonna trigger this cutscene. Whoa! This is a shock! I never expected the Goddess's Sanctuary to be in such a remote pocket of the world. Not but sand as far as the eye can see. I don't see what we're looking for at all. So empty. Bang, are you sure this is the place? This is how everyone reacted the last time we came here. Don't sweat the small stuff. Things will be fine as long as I handle it. Just be quiet and follow me. Hmm, what to do? A proper human must always trust the words of their friends. Very well. I shall remain calm and continue searching. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop this video right here, probably do some more off-camera stuff. So, until next time, Blood Spinning Lizard, out.